let me show you how we can reduce noise in your picture using Affinity Photo version 2. Before we start, I'm going to duplicate the layer with my picture here in the layer panel on the right. You can simply right click and duplicate. This way we got the safe copy just in case we mess up something. Or we want to compare this with the original image. Alright, now I'm going to search for the live filter. I can do it by going all the way up to the top menu. In the layer panel you can see the whole section of live filters when we got blur, but we got also noise section with denoise. You can also use the quick menu that is inside your layer panel. Just below your layers there is one little icon for live filters. Click on that and you can see a quick access to many live filters from here. They are live filters, so they are non-destructive. We are not messing up the original layer. That's great. All right, let's search for denoise. Click on that. And as you can see, I got this icon next to the picture of that layer. So this is kind of as a separate thing. I can delete this adjustment in any moment and back to the original image. All right, now we got several sliders here. I also like to zoom in really close to observe the noise. So I'm going to press Command Plus on my keyboard to zoom in a bit. You can also use the Navigator tool if there's one in your panel here. It should be here by default. Okay, and if you want to go back to that pop-up thing, just double tap here in on the icon of this adjustment. All right, now we can adjust how strongly we want to denoise this image. Keep in mind, denoise may remove some sort of colors and blur some elements. So you cannot just go for 100% and hope for the best. We need to be careful here. So this try to detect the edges and blur inside a solid colors. So that's usually where the noise is the most visible, right? Let's click on the opacity slider. This way we can very easily see the original one and then the noise version. The noise is not completely gone. It seems a bit larger and more blurry. And that's a very normal thing if you don't use uh, advanced AI denoise tools. Right now in version 2.5, that's a very classic denoise that just checking neighbor pixels. I hear some gossips that the new version of this tool is coming this year. So let's hope for that. But for now, what we can do is to simply use those sliders and try to search for the happy medium when we got our noise a bit blurry, but not too much to lose details. All right, so that's one way of doing that. In addition, if you got some strong noise somewhere in this one area of the image, you don't want to denoise everything so hard, you can do this trick. You can duplicate this whole thing. And instead of denoise, I'm going to apply a small filter blur. Gaussian blur will do. All right. What I'm doing, I'm blurring the image. If you blur the image, there's no noise on it but also it's blur. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a mask to it. Okay, and now this mask is white so we can see all of the blurry thing. I want this mask to be black by default. So I use the bucket tool and black color. Be sure the mask is selected, not the image, but the mask. All right, I got black mask, so all of this blurry image is hidden behind that black mask. But I want some of that to pop. So I will use the brush tool, soft one, so I put the hardness to bare minimum, like 10%. And then I will use the white color in some areas on that mask to make this blurry version of the image show. Take a look. If I let the blurry version of the image come out, I completely removed the noise from this area. Okay, it's a bit too strong in my case, so I may reduce the opacity for the whole blurry layer a bit. But that's the point. I hope you understand what I mean. I got the blurry copy of the whole image. Blur means there's no noise. And if you really want, you can use the brush 
and the mask to show that blurry version in some areas of your photo. Okay. And be sure to not touch like edges when the color change. That would be terrible. You try to apply this inside some shapes to reduce the noise kind of manually, just like that. Take a look. Okay, so that's a more advanced manual technique that you can use if you are not happy with your default denoise filter. All right, so that's what it is right now in Affinity Photo. As, as I mentioned, I expecting a enhanced version of this tool with the machine learning to show up in this year, 2025. Okay, remember, you can simply access your adjustments, live filters from the layer panel. Click here and you got quick access to all of those adjustments. And denoise is here at the bottom of the list. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.